Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gun Battle Operation 2 Beta from a couple of weeks ago. And today I'm taking out the Jim Kai with a beam spray gun. Uh, beam spray gun is, you know, basically probably the worst uh, weapon in the entire game, but I've gotten to a point of actually kind of enjoying it after some of the situation battles, because it, it's just, it it's kind of feels like being a, you know, younger brother harassing someone else, you know, just, it's like, it doesn't stun you, it barely does any damage, so you're basically following somebody around going, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, until they, you know, basically explode to get away from you. It's great. So, yeah, uh, I haven't tried the Jim Kai except for that brief point in the uh, tutorial when I was commanding it, I'd think, or, I'm not sure. Um, did I try it once already? If so, definitely not with the uh, beam spray gun probably more like with the uh, Hyper Bazooka, if anything. But... So, I'm, I thought I ought to give it a try. Yeah, like 400 a shot, but the the virtue of that is you can get, you know, about two shots off a second, and takes about, what, five seconds to uh, recover from overheating, which actually is higher than the original beam spray gun, I'm pretty sure. That, that recovered very quickly, so you could... You know, you could keep up a constant stream of nuisance damage if your aim was good. And probably not as good as machine gun damage, but... Yeah, as you can see, the, the problem with it is, with the overheat, it does kind of leave you open, especially, like I said, since I think it takes a little bit longer to uh, reload than it used to. So, the answer to that, of course, if I were smart enough, is to stop firing and let it recharge. That is, a, that is a viable thing to do that I should probably be doing. But we've got a full pile of enemies here. I need to be more careful. I also need to just get away from them. My shield's gone. My health is still pretty good. But yeah, the beam spray gun, it's probably, if nothing else, it's probably the best kill-stealing weapon. That's pr I think that may be one of the first melee attacks I've landed in space but I'm probably going to die for the effort because we are surrounded. But, got that Zaku. Yeah, so I'm not doing poorly in this, which is unusual. Especially, again, Beam Spray Gun, but... Yeah, it's probably a very... It's a fairly efficient kill-stealing weapon because you can get enough shots off to finish somebody off when they're very low on HP, which is... You know, pr not, the, not the best or most noble... Uh, use for a weapon, but it is a use for the thing, in case you were wondering what exactly you're supposed to do with the thing. Um, but yeah, you know, I posted the uh, podcast that uh, Seraphic Zero, Salty Walty, and I did over the weekend. Um, and, and thank you again, Zero, for letting me use your footage, because I just was not quite sure what to do with it. Um, but... Yeah, Zero hates the beam spray gun. He hates getting stuck in a gym with a beam spray gun in situation battles. I actually, for whatever reason, wound up uh, being, you know, getting a greater appreciation for those in situation battles. I think part of it is that because it is the worst weapon and because it, they generally give it to the weakest mobile suit on the side you actually, it, it actually takes a little bit of pressure off of you. It's like, okay, I'm the worst thing here. As long as I don't, you know, get super reckless and cost everybody a lot of points, anything I manage to actually do is a bonus. So that's, and I hit the wrong button and spawned without my mobile suit, which, oops. But there's my mobile suit. Which... I'm not sure why it droops in space when it's not occupied, but there's a lot of questions that should just probably not be asked here. Um, like, I'm not sure the developers are 100% read up on how space works, but, again, super accuracy of in terms of space on these uh, maps would actually be kind of difficult. Let's see, I need to get lower so I can get some shots in. Also, the beam spray gun does have decent range, which is, in space, is worth considering. But yeah, I got a, I got about a 1,200 damage in on that while it was stunned. That's, 
not nothing. It's close, but it's not nothing. It's a little less than a single bazooka shell. I am, I am just surrounded on all sides, though, so I need to get away as best I can. I think, cannot guarantee, but I think that the boost gauge recharges uh, faster in space. But yeah, as you can see, I am dead. I am just stone dead because they are surrounding me and they are all trained right on me. One of their snipers, I think, yeah, one of our snipers rather managed to stun them. So I'm at least providing a nice distraction while uh, our uh, support types do some damage to them. So it's not the bad news. Okay, yeah, I got ta taken out by a Zaku high mobility type. I'm going to be interested to see if the mobile suits we're getting here are the actual baseline for the final game, or if they gave us some mid-range stuff and there are actually standard gyms and Zakus that are even slower and weaker than what we're than the basic stuff we're dealing with here. Let's see, there's a person on my left I'm not paying enough attention to. Got the tunnel vision thing going on. Yeah, they're, I think I finally noticed them, and somebody's spawning in on top of me, so this is just... I am back in the middle of the bad scene. Two people spawned in. Yeah, right back in the middle of the bad scene I was just in. So, that's a G3 Gundam. That's a bad thing for me to be stalking in a Jimkai. Doing it anyway. Let's see. Type advantage gives me about another... I guess that's probably about a 25% boost, because everything else here I've done about 400 damage to, 413, somewhere in there. And 473 to some, and it's 575 for... Uh, for uh, the G3, so... I mean, it's hard to fully account for defenses. I mean, a low beam defense would be relatively canonical for the G3 Gundam, since in the novels, a beam bazooka is what takes it out. With Amuro in it, incidentally. But, yeah, so I'm dead, incidentally. And I'm saying it's incidentally a lot for no reason. But yeah, so... This was going pretty well for us, and then I started spawning in in the middle of relatively well-coordinated formations of en enemies, and that's really not good. We've got a bomb about to go off at our base. I don't know that anyone is working to defuse it. Um, see, so got to take care of the pilot first, of course, but... Yeah, they're doing a pretty good job, it looks like, of keeping us occupied until the uh, bomb goes off. I should have just gone for it, as opposed to going down there and uh, trying to uh, help the guy who just got blown up, but did not think of it. Let's see, if I can land a shot on that guy, he's dead. Okay, maybe two shots. Come on. No, this is about where it's... Okay, somebody else did defuse the bomb. I'm surrounded again and about to die. Just trying to go for the Vulcan kill now, but I'm not close enough. It, everything is kind of starting to go a little very wrong. Yeah, not close enough, but my beam spray gun's back, so if I can just get a shot in before he kills me, I'd probably have him. Good! Yeah, I remember this person now. I remember being really impressed and annoyed with their evasion. Because, what evasion? Finally got them. And, yeah, we managed to win this one. It was a lot closer than it looked like it was going to be, and I'm ending this match on fire, but we did it. So, mission complete. And yeah, the beam spray gun is, you know, not bad. Obviously, I, uh, you know, didn't get top damage or anything, but also I got most accuracy at 27.5% of my shots hitting, so hey, it's not bad. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back with more tomorrow, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!